and away from politics, Diana Chepkemoi, who was stranded in Saudi Arabia, is back in the country. Chepkemoi caught the attention of Kenyans after photos of her looking emaciated surf uh, surfaced on social media. Her family, led by her mother, had appealed for assistance from the government to bring her back home. The 24-year-old stated that there are other incidences of Kenyans being abused, the majority of which are far worse than what she endured. Rose Ongoi with that story. Diana Chepkemoi returned to Kenya at 1.40 p.m. and was met by her mother, Clara, leaders and friends. It was an emotional reunion as Chepkemoi rushed to embrace her mother. The 24-year-old caught the attention of Kenyans after photos of her looking machiated surfaced on social media. The photos sparked a prowl among Kenyans who called for immediate action from relevant authorities to ensure she returns home. Upon arrival, Chepkemoi was waiting to tell her story, tears rolling down her face. I left Kenya to go to Saudi Arabia just with the hope I'll get maybe a better life afterwards. But mine is just to say, if I can just be honest, mine was just a tip of the iceberg. What one at Teseka? People are suffering there. My friends are suffering there. It's just that mine, nili, nili pata that voice, nili pata support when you nili ongea. But people are suffering there. And I'm just bleeding with the government. Just mm. please do something. Sure. People there are mentally tortured, psychologically tortured, and it's not fair. Sure. And I, it's a shame being told there's nothing you can do. There's nothing your government can do. I'm so grateful this, mo this, this afternoon that Diana is back. Yeah. I'm so grateful. Chip Kemoi, a student at Meru University, had deferred her studies for lack of school fees and traveled to Saudi Arabia to work as a house help. She claims that she always carried out her duties diligently, but trouble started when she reported her employer to her agent in vain. Instead of my agent chipping in and helping me, they just you know, usually sweep two under the rug. So from there, Kajua, there's nothing I can do. She can do anything to me. Any small mistake you do, Nambiwa, there's nothing you can do. Nilikununua, na utaka hapa mbako umaliza contract. And if I also want, you can, I can jail you the way I want. I can do anything against you. Lois Wairimo is back home and feels lucky to be alive. Recently released from her abusive employers in Saudi Arabia, she tells a harrowing story of beatings, starvation and death threats. The mother of one could hardly walk. She's frail and emaciated. Lois, who hails from Maragua in Moranga County, was lured to Saudi Arabia with promises of a well-paying job in March 2021. <laughs> The Human Rights Watch based in New York has over the years voiced its concerns about the poor treatment of migrant workers in the Gulf countries, describing the abuse and labor that female domestic workers face as amounting to slavery. Rosongoi, NTV.